Vietnamese snacks and sweets are the best thing on earth, hand down. That's why on the day when I arrived, despite of not sleeping for 24 hours, the first thing I did was going to the supermarket and bought this much <laughs> stuff to eat. This box is completely full and I bought like 20 to 30 different snacks. So in this video, we're going to try them out and I will tell you interesting things about our snacking cuisine as well. I am so excited to make this video. It has to be one of the happiest videos I have ever made. Let's try some jelly. Jelly is a very big thing in Vietnam. I was basically grow up snacking on jelly mostly. It's like a snack that every single Vietnamese kid eat. This one shaped like a fish and I guess the flavor is orange. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> It's not so sweet. It doesn't taste so chemical. It's just so fun to snack on. This one is a very popular shape. It's just straight like this, like a pencil. Mm. Just buy on them. Mm. This one is more crunchy than the fish one. And it tastes like um, banana. Whenever German boyfriends see me bringing jelly from the Asian supermarket, it's like, it doesn't look healthy. This is traditional Vietnamese candy. This is coconut candy. I'm telling you, everything could have coconut flavor in Vietnam. The dish is originated from the south of Vietnam in a province where there's a lot of coconut. So they came up with this dish. Okay, so there is two color. You see, basically they taste the same, but this color has the pendant leaves inside. That's why it's green. And here there is a small wrap around it. It's made from rice i think so you can eat it as well i just remember that it is super sticky and difficult to do oh let's see uh. okay there's one thing i'm pretty impressed that after all those years they taste exactly the same many of the snacks that i ate today change a bit compared to the taste that i remember but these exactly the same this is a uh, basically dry meat mixed with a lot of uh, spices and ingredients. Look how cute the packaging is. It's like a flower with five different petals and the middle have something as well. This is a uh, dry squid. This is dry beef, dry chicken, dry beef again, and dry pork. Ta-da! It smells awesome. This is chicken with lemon leaves, cucumber, lemongrass, and chili. And this is dry beef, I guess. This is another kind of dry beef. I have to read what do they mix. Mm, same thing, just bigger, I guess. So, um, they're definitely not bad. I like them a lot. It's just that normally when I eat this, it's mostly handmade from friends and family because people do this a lot nowadays. It just tastes better that way, like handmade stuff. But I'm still very happy to have it. I'm pretty sure these are very traditional Vietnamese snack. This is saute tamarind with ginger and sugar. I named that because I don't know how to call it in English. And this is a saute apricot with ginger. Ooh, food safety, I like it. Mm, they smell awesome. I cannot eat a lot of these because they are very, very sour. It's not good for my teeth, but one or two per day is okay. It tastes so good. There's the ginger peas inside. It's making me feel warm and happy. And I want to eat more. <laughs> this is the tamarind. It is the gear. It's very sour. Here is another traditional Vietnamese snack or Vietnamese sweets with four different kinds. I decided to take this so I can just try them all and show you guys all of them. This is peanut candy. This is sesame candy. This is peanut and sesame candy. And this is white sesame candy. It's such a simple dish but um, it could be really, really yummy. And normally we eat them with uh, tea too because it's pretty sweet as well. This is uh, like sashimi cake. I'm pretty sure they do it with the same method. 
Mm. Mm. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. <laughs> oh my gosh, the sesame taste is so intense. Toast the sesame as well. Mmm. German boyfriend would love this. He, he loves sesame. Johnny bought this. I have to put them back so I can bring them to Germany. You guys have popcorn, and in Vietnam we have this kind of corn. It's not pop, but um, it is sauté or fried with sugar and salt and chili. And we don't want to pop it, okay? We just want to like fry it with some oil. This has been around for many years. I don't know, 50, 100 years or something. Again, this one is definitely not the best one that I ever eaten but it's probably better than any popcorn that I have ever eaten. Okay, the next one probably will send Italians into a coma. <laughs> Fry pasta, but it's a snack. In Vietnam, we call pasta nui. This is how it looks like after getting fried. It has nothing to do with pasta, you guys. <laughs> Crispy fried macaroni. Is pasta, is macaroni pasta? I think so, right? It's a really good snack. Flavor is good. There's even an Italian here. It's a bit similar to the fried corn, but it's a bit better. <laughs> rice cracker. I'm pretty sure rice cracker is something popular in a lot of uh, Asian country too. I personally love rice cracker. It feels like nothing. Probably you can eat like 10 of them and you don't even feel full for sure. So there's not much to eat here. Basically, feel like I bite on air, but um, the glazer really makes the whole thing taste way better. There are so many different kinds of rice cracker in Vietnam. People love rice cracker over here. Let's move on to the snack snack. Um, I really, really miss this snack. These are my comfort food in Vietnam, and I was so sad that I couldn't find them in Germany. These are my absolute favorite. These are snack with uh, sweet corn, and uh, they just taste heavenly. I'm gonna show you. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. The thing that I always complain about German snack that there's lack of flavor there. There's only salty, sour, paprika. But over here we have sweet and corn and salty and other things. It's just so good. This is arguably the most popular snack in Vietnam. This is called Arshi. And um, they have this kind of uh, a little bit spicy snack that have a bit of shrimp taste. Mm, so it's crunchy. And outside, they have this um, chili, salty, and sour powder with the shrimp as well. This one is extremely popular too. In Vietnam, we call this phong tôm, and you can buy these very, very um, tiny ones in the supermarket, not cooked yet, and you can bring them home and deep fry them, and then they will expand like this. It's tasty, but it's also a lot of work. So I'm glad that they start selling this ready to serve thing already. <laughs> If you love peanut, you need to try this snack. It's peanut coated with coconut, and then properly they deep fry them or something. This is how it looks like. Yes! Who would have known that peanut fits so well with coconut, right? Oh, I love it. I'm not even a fan of peanut. I just love this. This is not like Vietnamese snack for sure, but this kind of thing is very popular in Vietnam. It's basically a sandwich. There is two pieces of cake here, and in the middle, there is egg custard, uh, butter, and um, dried pork. Let's try it out. I have a bad habit of using my teeth to open everything. I know that it is not safe, and my get some bad germ in my mouth, but I just cannot stop doing it. In Vietnam, we eat this a lot. A lot of people make this at home and sell it online, but I'm pretty sure they do it 10 times better than this cake because it's not really not looking appealing to me. Oh, yeah, it tastes very factory chemical, <laughs> even for the sugar. It looks so appealing on the picture though. 
but um, it's not tasting very good. But I'm telling you, if you have the real one from someone making it on the same day, yeah, chef kiss. Choco pie used to be my favorite snack, sweet cake. Don't know how you call this in the world. I love it so much. I don't know if you guys know what is a choco pie, but it's basically two pieces of baked cake squished together. In the middle is a marshmallow, and then it's covered in chocolate. Every time I see a choco pie anywhere, I buy it because I really, really like it. That is the original one. Now they have the one that looks like watermelon. I have never eaten this before. That's why I have to buy it and try it out. They smell very much like fruits, not watermelon fruits though. <laughs> They're just not tasting very well. You know what? One day I will bake choco pie by myself. I saw some people do it and I think maybe I can do it too. Because this is outrageous. Oh, I saw this candy in the supermarket. It even say made in Malaysia. So definitely not Vietnamese snack. In Vietnam, we could call these candy um, sticky candy. There's a different genre of candies in Vietnam. You have like uh, hard candy, we have sticky candy. It's definitely not Haribo, okay? It's a different thing. This is a, a candy with mango flavor. Normally, they could sell these in kilograms too. They would have a whole bunch of like different candies in a big bowl. You can just like grab them and put them into a bag and weigh them. That's how they sell candy in Vietnam as well. It is very, very squishy. Hmm. I don't know how they do it. But they managed to make this candy taste like a real mango. It's very good. This is called pillow stick. Probably because it is long like a pillow. <laughs> Arshi is not a Vietnamese brand. I think it's from Japan. So this snack probably is popular in Japan too. When I was working in Vietnam, normally I would bought a lot of this, put it into my drawer. And when I feel hungry, and I just need to have some power snack, I just grab one. So this is basically a cereal out here. And inside there is some um, milk custard. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Don't like it so much. This is Leung Ko, basically dry food. I think it's kind of popular in the military, mostly. It is dry cereal, I think. Put into a pack like this, it's completely dry and compact and it's super hard so you can save it for years and if you're hungry, you can just like open it and eat it. It tastes very much like meal powder. That's the only taste I could feel at the moment. Yeah, it just tastes like memory. Ah, in the old time, having one piece of this is already luxurious food for a day. I cannot believe that now I'm eating it and I was like, ah not that special don't want to eat it pretty sure if you go trekking or go on a trip when food is difficult to cook this could be very convenient so i have tried everything in this box and i'm so glad that uh, i sat down and filmed this video today i can finally share the snack with everybody in the family i don't know i'm happy but some of the snacks just don't taste the same anymore so I'm a bit sad about it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.